Yes, I got something in common with Donald Trump. We can make this world good again. I know we can. Rah, rah, hip, rah. <laughs> Just gotta keep good attitude. Let it be shiny. And we gotta be like a puma. We gotta run. We're in the race, and it's time to get excited because at the end of the race, there's even more love awaiting us. So come on with me. It's time to leave the safety of the shore. And love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. And it's time to lift up the way of love. There is only one way, and he was it. So praise the Lord. Such love that he slain before the foundation of the earth, the uh, word of God says. And uh, so praise the Lord that uh, these are days of kingdom age arising, where we can light the candle of hope and the uh, dove of love and the most regal eagle of the eons. It's time to soar high above like never before. So praise the Lord, and it's time to get with uh, that program. So uh, these are the days when the spiritual drought is over. Jesus said that unless these days were cut short, Matthew 24, 22, no flesh could survive. There is nothing under heavens that could cut time short except for God's word flowing again. And therefore, uh, God's word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9 says so. And uh, it had to open because of the message of Malachi 3, 1, Christ's message, his word, his actual word, that he has sent mankind as a message. Uh, his everlasting covenant uh, has never been given unto mankind, and it was foretold that it would be given unto Israel in the latter days. In Jeremiah 31, 1, it says, And the Lord God promises that in the latter days he will be the Lord God of Israel and all families of Israel, and from the least to the greatest all would know him. And this was not spiritual Israel. This was all families of Israel. And so praise God, I have proper understanding of this now. And as... The, the word comes forth. Uh, it, it, it removes all distortionality so that praise God that we can all get along in the uh, sandbox. By the way, um, I got a new location here. Uh, I'm filming from my uh, office and uh, I'm actually on, uh, this is a freezer underneath here. I sell food and uh, this is just a whole uh, place and I threw something on the wall and a few of my decorations. And, I'm preaching on top of a freezer. But guess what? That's all right, because my heart is, is fervent, and it's alive in love. So we got to get our hearts to not be frozen. And uh, only the Lord's spilled blood can get us boiling and get us fervent when we realize what he actually did for us. So as believers plead his blood, they'll never fall into the desolate abyss of darkness and countless miseries. But now at the sad hour of devilish anarchy in the world and demonic chaos, the world has come to an unfortunate pass where no man, woman, or child may cross over unscathed by the apostasy of this world that's on every front. And only love will drop those walls, just like Jericho. And love can do it, but it's it's in tearing down distortionality of unloving ways of religions. Um, the religions have gotten off course, and the people condemn each other. And now it's time for spiritual freedom and the spiritual awareness of all truth being restored of all things as it is written in Matthew 17, 11. So when any passing lies of God's children of light cross over into our great beyond at the setting of the sun of time, when the night of eternity is approaching closer and closer uh, for the wicked, uh, and the day without night is being born for the just, then and only then shall those alive either curse 
their mothers or fathers or bless them for bringing them forth into earth's most exciting hour for all those bending their knees unto our ancient of days who is sitting upon his great white throne upon the cloud of Matthew 24, the cloud of uh, Revelation 14, as he sends forth his everlasting gospel writer and the everlasting gospel that I have written, the uh, flying scroll of Zechariah 5, uh, the uh, uh, line by line, precept by precept, with the strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm. And the vision was written, Isaiah 28, and uh, the vision was written plainly on the tablet, so all those hearing the reading may run. The writer, one like Moses, one like him, a writer, a king of maids, covenant giver, and a leader of a new exodus, to call the wheat out from the tares. The wheat and tares cannot grow together any longer. So the Lord's hottest refiner's fire of Malachi are, are now here. And uh, these days will burn the arrogant and the proud. And they have no root or branch left to hold on to in the face of his refiner's fire. For the lost and the saved are both become like a charred piece of coal and will turn into a, a gleaming diamond if they will keep their eyes upon the Lord's truest truth of love, uh, because he's bringing forth his brightest light pouring upon all of us. So know that both came forth from fire, uh, coal and diamond, and both come from the same substance. But the same fire that destroys one refines the other and sets it apart forever, since every gem not only withstood once withstood the great heat, but also intense pressure. And that is what the Lord is allowing for us in these days of the trial of all flesh, COVID that has come, bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change by His love. And so that is what we need to do. And know that the silica-like souls that are destined to be burned, however, they try to flee all pressure through escapism, uh, leading them to awful places where even envious fallen imps hiss at them from out of hell's hottest pit, because these are the days of Diablo, Beelzebub, uh, Satan, Lucifer, having been removed in accordance with Daniel 12.1. It was one of the last things, and therefore it is one of the first things that would happen. The first is last, the last is first. Google, if you don't believe me, New Jerusalem, last thing foretold for us, and yet you can see images. Just uh, Google NASA, New Jerusalem, and you will see Hubble uh, telescope pictures of uh, the New Jerusalem. And again, um, because the covenant has now been given to the people that it is written to, the, the word of God says, I am the Lord God of all mankind. And God's not a respecter of people. His covenant has been for all mankind. Otherwise, he would have favoritism and he would be a sinner by the letter of his own law. Oh, I just love this song. I've cried thinking about this song because when this song came on, Phil Collins, uh, when this song came on, I was in jail for a murder. I did not commit it. There was a long Dolly and I was in Windsor bludgeoned to death on 1427 Earth Street, 1981, uh, May 1st, and people could Google it and uh, see my picture in the front of the Winter Star if you put them in the Winter Star. But uh, it was totally a mistaken identity, but there was more than that. And uh, long story short, I sat in jail for two months, and I sued the police for seven years after. But, what, it was an interesting experience because the police wanted me to wear a, a body pack and approach the man who they arrested after they let me out. Uh, they had no evidence to hold me. So they arrested the man's husband who did bludgeon his wife to death. And uh, uh, long story short, on my release I met the man. I knew that he knew that I knew that he had did this. And he knew that I knew that I didn't do it. And he knew that he did it. So, guess what? <laughs> I ended up sitting down and having a coffee with the guy. I forgave him. He didn't kill me. 
and I knew it had caused, he had two little children, it caused much grief. And long story short, we started talking about Jesus Christ. And he choked up because he knew he was sitting across from someone who was not judging him as evil. Because we are all evil. And we are all good. And most of us are good. We marry the angels because we are angels of the flesh. Angels. Jesus said we are gods. And one third of the angels fell. So I can tell you very close numbers. There's about eight billion of us. And there's about six billion of us who are pretty darn good, decent people. There's two billion of us that, that we all got attitude. And how do you get the demons of the world to become angels? By treating the demons like angels. By treating them with forgiveness. And uh, the man appreciated that, that I had forgiven him. And I do not believe, retrospectively looking back, I don't believe that I even said I forgive. It didn't need to be said because actions speak louder than words. I was there and I was talking kindly to him. But when I first got out of jail, oh, coming in the end. When I first got out, my first instinct was to take a rock and to terrorize the man's house if he was still living there. I was jailed for 68 days. The headline when I got out uh, was 68 day nightmares all over, and I had my picture. And uh, quite the famous, uh, uh, I had quite the lawyer too, Dr. Kraut. I got a glass eye from a hockey accident. He was a hockey player. And uh, he would take out his eye, pop it in people's beers, and he was alcohol. And uh, he plucked it out during a trial one time. Next thing you know, uh, he got uh, contempt of court, but uh, it, swayed the, uh, it swayed the jury, believe me. So, blessed are they who stand unmoving. See, I'm preaching to white noise. No one is watching these videos. But I am on the evening. I'm, I'm, there's no difference between me and uh, Noah, who was building an ark for nobody that wanted a ride. So these are the days that the blessed will stand unmoving as they accept godly flames of freedom, ignited in passion, burning with thankfulness, and ablaze with the truest faith. Woe unto those exploding with inward fervent fires of selfishness as they flame up roaring with disobedience that burns up their ignorant hearts by the very same flickering inferno of spiritual stinginess uh, that incinerates everything worthwhile within them. And as the prophets all declared, all those who shine shall burn brightly like our most radiant light of the ages. We are drops from the great ocean that is God, and we only desire to go back unto him. And to all others shall our most high Lord God make manifest his indignation. All people, loveless people, um, the two billion who have really bad attitudes. And uh, so, but praise God, most people are good. And even the bad ones still have goodness in most of them. Uh, watch the uh, video, it's called, YouTube video, it's called The Deathbed Confession of Anton LaVey. He is the writer of the Book of Satan. And Anton was like, oh my God, I'm stuck in the elevator. Uh, he was like, I can't believe it, what did I do, what did I do, what did I do? He had the same reaction that Charles Darwin had, who recanted, he called his own theory of evolution, provably by history, uh, uh, historical writing. Uh, he called his own theory ridiculous, but Anton, who wrote the book of Satan, it was too late, he couldn't unwrite it. So he was like, oh my God, he's loved, what did I do, what did I do? <laughs> oh, and he saved that, man. This love came back alive. I, I, I didn't, uh, in that video as he was talking, I was not listening to a Satan worshiper any longer, I tell you that through it. So know that these are the days that the Lord wants to exercise his justice 
uh, and bring forth the end of uh, uh, of all things that would bring fear for us. And his perfect love will cast out all fear. So accordingly, Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over all of his people, we should shall now be allowing the damnable time of the false prophet to come forth like some stinking gas if we won't change uh, Dr. David Awar of repair and uh, uh, repent and prepare the way is the one that has called down fire from heaven. You can see it in his videos uh, of Revelation 13 in front of multitudes. He has done this. And he is preaching the same old, same old message. We got a chain. Uh, yes, he's preaching all the truth, except one thing that you gotta believe. You don't gotta believe in nothing. We are angels in the flesh, and if we believe in love, that is Jesus' name. Whether we know the name of Jesus doesn't matter. His name is love, and those who love are born of him, and know him, born again, and know him because he is love. And so praise God that um, uh, unto every child of obedience shall the mercy overflowing of our Alpha and Omega be shown more openly as he adopts all those refusing to be numbered by the wicked satanic powers of the rising last evil regime. Uh, the one who has blasphemy in his mouth is more official. And he's the one who would die by a sword in Revelation 13 because he's a sword swallower. Well, turn in his channel at area, and on his wall he's got the, the 666 three Paisleys in his Hyperion uh, New Age uh, atheistic religion. And the truth is, in the last one year, he's added 150,000 subscribers. At this channel, uh, if you're watching this, at this point I've got 2,300 videos and i got 12, 13 subscribers. No one is listening to me, but yet they're flocking in like like uh, uh, a huge flock. He's going exponential. He's got over a million followers. He's leading the world in the religion of blasphemy. His videos are like Jesus is Satan. Uh, Jesus lied about hell. Uh, Jesus is uh, a liar. And uh, those are... The blasphemy is overflowing. All these people, oh yeah, Obama's the uh, uh, false prophet or Trump. Or, these guys don't have no blasphemy. Like, that's blasphemy. Jesus is Satan. So praise God that the, the Lord wants to free us from all of our misunderstandings so that we can all get along in the sandbox together. So love from love. And where my hat go? Again, I put it on my hat and tell you the truth. We can make this world great again, but it's going to come by some proper understanding. The Lord never replaces something unless He gives us something even better. He wants a world of spirituality, a loving spirituality that will transcend all belief or no belief as of well, no importance. Kindness, the language of love. That is the language that all can understand. So it's time to get with that program for the kingdom age ahead. So love from love, and remember it's time to soar above like never before. So come on back uh, next time, and remember that we must keep our flame on. So thumbs up, give this channel a like someday, and leave me a comment someday.